Hey everybody, today we are repairing a 65 gallon water tank. It goes underneath an RV. And I'm just in the frame so you can see how big the thing is. Let's get to work. This crack is about, I don't know, two and a half inches wide. If I can pry something in there so you can get a better idea. Now first thing we want to do is make sure it's clean. So I'm gonna scrub it with some rubbing alcohol and a toothbrush. Someone already tried to repair this crack with a fiberglass repair kit which that's not going to work, at least not in the long run. The only thing that sticks to plastic is plastic itself. So I'm just cleaning off all the dirt. I've already scraped off the fiberglass repair kit that was on there. Now one of the good things that the alcohol does is it seeps into the crack and it lets us see where the crack starts and finishes. And we want to drill a couple holes on each side to keep the crack from spreading after we fixed it. Next I'm going to use a little butane torch and also these polyethylene rods. Now it's important that the rods you use are the same material that the substrate is made out of. So double check the manufacturer to make sure you're getting the right things. Plastic welding lets off some nasty fumes, so make sure you're in a well-ventilated area or use an appropriate mask. Okay, now I'm going to heat up my area. I'm going to heat up my rod. And we just want to do it just enough so that they can melt together. And I'm starting the rod outside the crack. Okay, there's our piece of plastic melted onto the crack. Next I'm going to take a piece of this reinforcing steel mesh and I'm going to melt it into the repair site. Here's where we're going to place it, just right on top of the crack. But this steel mesh has a spring to it and so as I melt it in, it's going to want to spring out of the plastic. And I don't want that to happen so I'm going to take my simple socket here and I'm just going to press it down as I'm melting the mesh into the plastic. This is a plastic welder I'm using. I got it off of Amazon. It was 28 bucks. The only thing I did to it is I took a file to the foot here and I rounded off the edges. Alright, I'm just going to let the soldering iron heat up the mesh and it's going to start to embed into the plastic. You can see it's starting to work right there. Of course the mesh has a spring to it. And so it's going to, want to, going to want to come back out. And so that's where I use my socket to push it in. There we go. Let's see how that works. Alright, we're going to keep going on this side. Heat up my mesh. Going to start to embed into the plastic. And then I'll use my socket to keep it in place as it solidifies.
So you can see this is an area where the mesh is going to pop away from the plastic. And this is a perfect example of where we would use the socket. There we go. Now it'll be easier to put the rest of it in place. Here's another little spot that's popping up. All right, now that I have my piece of metal mesh embedded into the plastic, I'm just going to continue to add pieces of polyethylene from this rod. And I'm going to reinforce the repair over the top of the mesh. So there's another piece of plastic. And let's put more plastic into this. And this is where that beveled edge that I filed in really comes handy. Alright everyone, there's a completed repair. 
you can see that the mesh is just barely visible in some spots but it's completely reinforced around where the the crack was at and this is going to hold up just fine <laughs> 